Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. It's time for Paper Pumpkin. I've already gotten into the kit and designed the bags. The kit is um, these little uh, craft bags and the add-on was the little cards right here. So I made one of each to show you what they look like and this is an absolutely gorgeous set. Now. Here is the insert from the Paper Pumpkin. If you're new to Paper Pumpkin, you, it's a, a full kit and it all comes together. With your first subscription, you will get a Paper Pumpkin block that says Paper Pumpkin on it. How cute is that? And, um, and so that you can start to craft. The most you will need is a scissor. Uh, sometimes I will use a little snail. Uh, so I have to admit that, but you know, the most you might need is a little inline um, adhesive like that and um, uh, uh, some snips. Now this month, this was the paper pumpkin, but you could add on the card kit. And the card kit gave us, um, what was it, 24 card bases and two different designs. This is the first design right here. Um, and then the second one is this gorgeous like uh, bluish greenish color right there absolutely fun and I'm gonna make the bag that goes with that also I'm, I'm gonna make a bag like this and a bag that goes with this also um, on camera with you guys to show you how to put it together but I wanted you to know that this came in the box and um, this is just ten dollars so even if you don't use this kit for this you still have some great backgrounds let me get that you have all of this and you know so you've got all these cards and bases how nice is that and all the envelopes also that are already decorated for you and this is just ten dollars it says on here available August 1st while supplies last so I'm thinking if you really like this kit or even just want the add-ons you can still order this so the number for this I'm gonna hold this up close and let the camera focus is 152885 and you could see it is just ten dollars isn't that nice so you can click my shop now button that's right down here right below this video it's a, it, it'll say shop now and it'll take you right to my online store And if you'd like to order that that would be fantastic and then I'll send you the two free card kits for this month these are the two free kits they are fancy fold kits for this month how much fun is that also if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber or if you're a downline of mine you get these kits every month for free um, and they just went out in the mail to everybody today okay so all my paper pumpkin people and my downlines you guys got everything mailed to you today uh, so I was happy to get to the post office with all of that this morning that was wonderful but I am just in awe of this little kit because I'm about to do a craft show it's at the beginning of November and I thought this might be a great thing put about three cards in a bag and isn't that a nice fun gift for someone at work or you know sometimes you have like a little a little something you have to give to somebody just a little something something this would be a fantastic combination I'll be back in just a minute and we're gonna put this card and this bag together okay let's start with this wonderful little project I love a project so I've mounted my berries or leaves whatever you want to call them on a block and I mounted the sentiment thankful for friends like you I want to stamp that right here um, on the tag I've already punched things out so it you know just to cut the time down hey I wanted to tell you something when you get these little spots okay we have this ink our ink pads when you close them the ink is stored upside down so that all of the ink stays on the top of the pad if you can visualize that being upside down okay right there so then when you open it and you know then you get good inking so you should always store your spots upside down okay I'm not going to open mine because I have the big Mary Merlot and um, I always I save my spots if I already have that color if not I use them so here we go here I'm going to stamp this right here and they give you plenty 
it looks like of these tags. Nice. Let me get my chamois. Okay. And um, now on, I punched out one of these little banners right here and I'm going to stamp these berries and I kind of want them like up here and cascading down. I've noticed that the top of my other one was more white and um, I wanted I wanted a stamp. Who doesn't like to stamp, right? That's why we do this. Wonderful. Just going to come down there and just like that. So I almost like stamped the whole, let's just go ahead and stamp the whole entire thing because I think it's going to look nice like that. Okay, so here is my tag, all stamped and ready to go. Now, what we want to do with this is um, I'm going to move it to the side and I'm going to bring my circle in here with the leaves on it. So pretty. And what we want to do, and this is where I am going to use just a little bit of snail. I put a little snail down in the middle. Just, you know, just lay some down there. And then I took the twine and let's see, the directions will tell you how many inches of twine. Um, 24 inches of twine. Okay. But I kind of don't measure it, guys. I'm more of just a eyeball it. So I take my four fingers and I wrap it like this a few times just to give me loops. All right? We're going to slice that right there. And now where we put that snail, we're going to take this and we're going to add this right here in the center and just push it into that snail and take your tail and just push it into the snail. All right? This will just like fan out. Isn't that cool? That's a neat effect and a quick way to use some twine. Okay, now, now what we're going to do is take what we um, just stamped and we're going to put it right here. I want to put my dimensionals opposite of my twine. I want the dimensionals off of the twine. So I'm going to add them to the project like this because I know exactly where I want them and not to the back of this. Let's hope for the best that we didn't get them too far apart. No, they're perfect. And then I'm going to place them right over here and I'm going to let my twine hang out. Isn't that neat how you could just quickly make that type of an effect? And it's secure back there. That's awesome. Okay, now we're going to add some of our punch outs. We have um, these little brown ones. They, these look like crumb cake. All of this will go on with one glue dot each. So let's go ahead and do that. Start to put these glue dots on the back and just peel that little part off. And what I want to do first is put this larger one down the vellum. Okay, I want to put this one down first. Just right here. And I'm going to add this to the top right here. Just kind of put it under there, just tuck it. All right? And that glue dot, when you push it, that glue dot sticks, no big deal. Now I'm going to take one of these like crumb cake looking ones and I'm going to put it on top of this. Just stick it down in there and push. And you could put it either which way you want. It, there's no right or wrong. I'm going to take my little leaf here that um, has the stripes on it and add a glue dot there. Isn't this cute? And I'm just going to put this one over here on this side and I'm going to take my crumb cake again and put it on top of there. And now we're going to decorate this with our gold sequins. Um, so on this larger piece, I'm going to put one, you have some larger ones and smaller ones. So this went this way, so I'm going to put my larger one on that side. And then here are all the smaller ones that you have. So I'm just going to add this one like here. Good to go. Then down here, I'm going to place two small ones. I'm going to place them right on the leaves, it's, uh, the leaves itself. Isn't that cute? 
just to place it right on top of it. I love that. I learn a lot with Paper Pumpkin. I learn techniques. I learn different um, ways to position things. I think that is just so much fun. Now I'm bringing my base in. And I want this to go right here. And I am so glad. Isn't that cute that we stamped the back of that? The whole thing? That's cute. So I want this right here. And I'm going to put um, two dimensionals on here first. Just right, just like that. And I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to place it so that my thank you now is straight, just like that. Is it straight? You guys know I have trouble with straight, right? Okay, there. Top and bottom, and there is our element. Now right here, the directions will tell you, I think it, it's like 16 inches of twine. I tie a bow. I just thread it and tie a bow. Um, you know, but if you need that kind of direction, it's right on there. I put it right through here, and I'm just going to cut some off. Of course, you know, we can use the bottom of this to measure. That's what that ruler is for. And now I'm going to bring my bag over, and I'm going to attach this just like this. I'm going to attach this here just with a bow, very simply. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, this is like too stinking adorably cute. Really cute project. And I'm going to make my loops a little smaller and my, um, my tails a little longer. Now on the back there, now I want to place some uh, dimensional or two. I'm going to put two. I'm going to just flip this up and place two dimensionals on the back. I'm going to angle a little a little bit and stick it onto the bag. Isn't that adorable? Look at how cute this looks. Somebody is texting me. Okay. Sorry. Now, um, so isn't that adorable on the bag? But even to make it cuter, you're going to take, um, now this I will measure the ribbon for sure. So let's see, there's the twine, ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta, craft bag, uh, 16 inches of, using 14 inches of linen thread, 16 inches of ribbon. So let's move this aside. Let's bring this in with our ruler. So we know that this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I go to the 7, and we've got it. And this is going to make a really pretty bow. Look at how this just curls. It's beautiful. So I'm going to put this up here. And again, I'm just going to wrap it around and tie it, getting it out of my linen bow right there. Just going to tie that up there, make a really pretty bow. Oh, and just let that ribbon fall. Don't even cut it. It doesn't even need to be... Um, even you know it just needs to curl so adorable just like that oh isn't that a cute fall bag guys isn't that wonderful okay let's move this aside and let's go to the card very very simply very simply you don't have to stamp anything on the envelope i just fold it and i use my bone folder to keep my flap down i've already used my bone folder on my card to keep it down and now I'm going to move that aside now on this card um, I use two of these vellum pieces this is so cute so cute and I'm going to put one toward the top and see the work is done for you I'm going to get another vellum piece right here come off of there Oop. okay and now I'm going to put this one just a little bit down lower and more into this yellow up here okay now I want to put 
cut I already cut a little piece of ribbon I just eyeballed this and I'm going to put a couple of glue dots let's see I want to really cut that even so I just kind of eyeballed it and then just gave the um, ribbon a little snip there and now two glue dots on the back of that to hold it down it really wants to curl which is so pretty when you tie that bow I really thought it was okay so here we go here we'll just remove these backs just like that and now we're going to place this kind of in the middle or wherever that you want to put you know your sentiment to land actually okay nice very very nice oh I need to get another sentiment don't I let's see and we'll get that right there another little tag and then I'll use my thankful again nice and now with this that looks a little crooked right move that down just a little bit there we go now with this I have my ribbon here so I'm going to put dimensionals top and bottom not that this this ribbon is very thin and it would be fine but honest to goodness you don't these dimensionals are pretty big you could cut them in half and put them on the ends if you wanted to or use the sides of them but this is more than plenty and this I want to come right here and now again I'm going to bring my elements in if I can find them oh right here of course they're on the white paper I can't see them um, and I'm just going to put my glue dots on the back of these and then fill this in right here and add a couple of sequins. Let's go ahead and add those sequins. I really love these sequins. They're adhesive backed. So they've already got the nice glue on them. And one, just like that. Oh, cute. So, you know, you can sign up for Paper Pumpkin for one month, three months, six months, a year. And if you are a downline, you know, I, we're still having that special for $155. You Just $99, you get $155 worth of product. But you also get 20% off of your Paper Pumpkin. Okay, you become your own Paper Pumpkin person and you get 20% off of it. So that's wonderful. Um, okay, now we're going to place these in here. letting them stick up just kind of under there they just really accent this vellum nicely and then this right here I put that on the side nice and there is this little note card are they adorable here we go here is our projects there's our bag and our card isn't that absolutely wonderful I'm going to be back in just a minute and we'll put the next set together. I forgot to show you that I decorated the inside of the card and I used that little enjoy and then the berries on top and bottom. We'll do this one together. Okay, but I wanted just to show that to you and I love this little enjoy. It's like having a little hello. I've never had an enjoy before, so I really, really think I'll get a lot of use out of that. So here's what we need now for this um, project is another bag and then let's move that aside for right now and then we're going to get this um, this tag right here that has the that is thick that is printed all right and now we're going to place this round stitch die right here with some dots and I meant to, um, I was looking through the directions, and where did I do that at? Um, right here. On this one, where I use the snail in here and then put the twine down, you can also place about three or four glue dots. You'll get the same effect. So you don't really even need the snail. So let's go ahead and put some glue dots on this. 
about four of them when you're doing something like this because it's going to hold it. Get all the little backs off. They stick even to me, right? Right here. And now I'm just going to stick this right here. Perfect. Now, what we want to do is take our twine, and um, it takes about 24 inches. I'm going to work off the spool. I just leave a tail, and we're going to wrap this around here three times, and then we're going to tie a bow on this side. And now I'll just kind of cut it right here so that I can work with it a little bit easier. And so I kind of, I like to take it and wrap it around just to secure the twine a little bit better. Just like that. Bring this in. Let's get it tight enough. We don't want to have too much slack. Okay. Let's see here. Let's just start from the beginning, right? <laughs> that got to be a mess, right? Okay, I leave a tail, and then I wrap it three times, and then I tuck it under and tie a bow. And that is like the simplest way that I can explain it. There we go, just like that. <laughs> now I'll tie my bow. Oh, I don't have enough right here. So just adjust yourself. If you don't have enough, bring your tail out a little bit more. I'll we'll tie it on this side. Nope, I still don't have enough. What is going on here? Okay, so watch me struggle. And <laughs> only because I'm on camera, most of the time it's just like loop, 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 boom, you're done. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to get tickled at it because what are you gonna do? You're just it's it's what it is. I am not having fun with this. Okay, let's just move that aside and let's just go ahead and um, get the ruler because <laughs> maybe I don't have enough twine. Let's say 24 inches. 9, 18, 24 right there. Okay, I don't think that that is the problem. I think it's the operator of the twine. Watch now, this will be perfect, and I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I really believe it's me. Here we go. And then I just like to take, yeah, take this one that I end with and wrap it around, and then that's usually my deal. All right, now here we go. Okay, now we got to get a bow out of it. Just like that. It only took, what, 10 minutes? Well, okay, it just says five on the, the timer on the camera. <laughs> now this I split, and I just like it to be three on top. You know, just, just fan it out so that it's three. Sometimes you have to fool a little bit more with that. There we go and just pull it under whichever one. Okay, now we're good. I do want that to be even, a little bit less of that, okay. Just like that. Now, um, what we're going to do is take the um, this little piece right here, our tag, and we're going to stamp this one, says grateful for family like you. And you know, sometimes the people you work with are your family, right? I know there's sometimes, I don't know what I'd do without the girls in the office, you know. You can always talk to them, bounce things off of them, you know, that kind of stuff. Makes you feel good. 
Um, let's see, where did I put the... I all of a sudden, that got really out of shape here, right? I'm looking for dimensionals. Okay, we'll use these. They'll pop up. Okay, so top and bottom, same thing. Because we have that twine in there, we kind of want to make a little trough here for it to run through. Let's bring that back in. And then I am going to lift this more towards the center of the circle. Just like that. And then we're just going to place this right here. And it's really covering that but also the, the twine is in the middle and the dimensionals are top and bottom. Now we're going to attach these things just like we did with the other one. I'm going to flip these over and use some glue dots. And we're going to put the little crumb cake looking ones down first. And they're going to go up here. and now a leaf and I love this little leaf vellum really love the little vellum on the leaf pretty colors on it look at how pretty that um, it's almost like a blackberry bliss I'm thinking okay so once again the brown goes down first on this to get you a nice layered effect here Play a little tiddlywinks with the <laughs> and just stick it underneath isn't that adorable and then another one of these little blackberry bliss leaves at least that's what it looks like to me and that goes under there and I just push it and now watch the vellum has one side that is really colorful the other side is kind of frosted I use the frosted as the back you can do whatever you want. Some people like that effect in the front. And then this I'm just going to tuck right here so that it's, I want it with both of them. Here we go. Right there. I wanted that to be predominant because I really like that vellum leaf. This is adorable, absolutely adorable. We're going to bring our bag in. Okay, where's that other piece of twine that I had? <laughs> I'll use it now. So I'm going to put this right here through the little hole, just like we attached the other one. And I'm going to tie a bow right here. Just like that. Just going to let that hang. I've got enough to do another one. And now I'm going to take my two dimensionals and I'm going to place them back here. One, and it's good to put one toward the point there of, the, of this flag just to hold it in place because that could be a little bit of a weak spot. And now I'm going to bring it over and let it angle. And then again I'm going to take some of the ribbon and this I will just work off the spool and make a nice bow. You guys are going, it's not going to work. Yeah, it will. <laughs> With this it will. Just pretty, pretty, pretty ribbon. Just like that. Oh, adorable. Absolutely gorgeous little bag. So cute, so festive. Just fun. Just like this. Okay, now, what does the card look like? Okay, now we're going to make the card. So I got this little flag out of the elements that came in the kit, and we are going to stamp Happy Thanksgiving right here in the middle beautiful and I'm going to 
put this aside for right now. I'm going to bring in my envelope. I'm going to fold my flap down. Use my bone folder. I'm going to bring my card base in. Oh, there's the dimensionals. It was under the card base. Yay! We'll put this here. Just use the bone folder. Beautiful. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Enjoy and um, the berries on the inside. I really like that. So just right here, Mary Merlot and the Enjoy. Now our berries. Just letting them kind of cascade down on the inside of the card. Just like that. Now we can work on the outside. And this is very simple. We already have the wreath. So we want to put our, let me move this aside. We want to put our Happy Thanksgiving. Let's see, I don't have any more stamping to do, do I? No. So let's move that also. Let's put this down with some dimensionals. Just two. And we're going to place this right here on the bottom third of the wreath. Just like that. And again, it's not straight, right? <laughs> you have to move things. Okay. There. Now, I take my little elements here. We're going to put the brown one down first. Get our little blue dot on there. Put that in here. And now our um, kind of the stripe it, the stripes with the green, which is like this kind of bluish greenish color. So we're going to put layer this kind of on top of that brown. And now, oh, this leaf is just beautiful. I love these. I love these vellum printed leaves. Beautiful. And here, and now we're going to place this on this side right there. And that just makes a nice little spray. It is perfect. Now we're going to tie a bow with our ribbon. And I'm going to get the 10 second bow maker. Let me move that up. And I want a kind of a bigger bow, maybe. Do you think we want one that big? Let's try it. I think so. It'll curl nicely. This makes a perfect bow. Do you see how quick and easy that is? And then just snip at an angle here and at an angle there. And we're beautiful. We are beautiful. So I'm going to move that aside. That's an also another way to save a lot of ribbon. And I'm going to put that right there with a glue dot. Oh, this ribbon makes these projects just this little bit. It almost looks like a, um, what is that color? Mango Melody. It's almost that kind of an orangish. I put a couple of glue dots there and I want to put it sideways and I just want to kind of tuck it under these flags just a little bit to help to hold it down but pushing it into the card. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, uh, I love this. So much fun. So here's the card that goes with this bag. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying your paper pumpkin this month and enjoying to do a little bit of a project and maybe a little bit of a card. From what I can understand from this paperwork, these kits are still available. And like I said, if you don't even use it, if you don't have paper pumpkin, they're still a beautiful quality and well worth $10 for 24 with envelopes. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the Shop Now button down there if I can help you with any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. Remember, you get the free card kits and Paper Pumpkin people and Downline people. Everything have, has been shipped out to you today. Um, that would be, what's today? August 16th. So 
and look for your things in the mail next week. And I still have four paper shares left. So if anybody would like a paper share, please contact me at joannemaddie at outlook.com and I will be more than happy to put your name on the list. Thanks again for watching and happy crafting!